Hi everyone. Yeah, today we are working on a 2004 Land Rover Discovery Series 2. And we're just going to do a simple headlamp bulb change. I always recommend changing headlamps in pairs. So for this we're just going to use a standard uh, H7. This is a Sylvania H7 bulb. And you'll see there's nothing to it. And there's just a few things you're going to need. You're going to need uh, like a little pry bar. If you don't have one of these, this is actually like a plastic, and if you don't have one of these, I'd suggest using a, a very thin slot screwdriver and just covering the end with some masking tape so you don't damage your car. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver. Then you're going to need a couple of specialized sockets here. This is actually a six-point E10 socket, and this is something that it's not very common. So. Uh, uh, you know, so make sure that you check and see if you have this. If you don't have this, that's okay because this is actually only used for these top bolts right here. And you could actually grab these with a pair of pliers because it's not it's not torqued under heavy uh, heavy pressure. The last thing you're going to need is a Torx bit, and this I'm going to show you what this is for. This is to remove the headlamp assembly on the inside. This is for the inside mount. And this is a size 20, so it's a Torx 20 size. All right, so let's get going on here. Pretty simple. First, you're gonna have to, there's, there's three screws right here. And this goes to the top grill. So I'm just gonna, so now if it starts spinning like that, just uh, get your finger right here to stop it from spinning. See that? So that'll allow you to remove the screw. And the same thing here. Okay, that one didn't spin, so that'll just come out nicely. And here's the third one, right over here. So you can see that one's spinning, so just get your thumb in there to hold it down, put a little pressure, and you can see that the screw comes out nicely. I don't know if you guys at home can hear, but we've got a lot of birds in the area. The weather must be nice. It's springtime. All right, so this thing, this, I'm just using a plastic pry bar here. That just gets underneath, just like that. And again, if you don't have uh, a tool like this, just use a solid screwdriver, but just cover the end with some masking tape. There you go. Now to remove the grill, all you have to do is take uh, take your hand put your left hand here right hand on the other side and you're just gonna lift up and pull back there you go so you see that's a pretty straightforward operation just gonna set that right here for now okay next thing we do is we're gonna remove these uh, top bolts we're gonna do the driver's side today and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that uh, a special socket and again if you do not have the special socket because this is not a common socket it's okay to just use a pair of pliers and go in and again this is not uh, poked in there with a lot of pressure okay so just remove these two these come out nice and easy Okay, and then down in here, you'll see that here's a flap. So you're gonna flip this back, just like that. And you're gonna see two screws here. This is the one that we wanna remove, and that's the one we're gonna need to use the Torx 20 on. So here we've got our trusty Torx 20. Goes in just like this. Now your headlamp assembly is ready to be taken off. Now if you'll see on this other side, there's actually like a pin right here. I'm going to show you. You're just going to have to pull this apart. Okay, see this? So when you're reinstalling it, make sure that it slides back in there just like that and it actually 
snaps in just like that. You can feel the tension. So make sure you get that in there when you're reassembling. There's only one harness, and that's pretty straightforward. You're just going to push down like that and wiggle out. Okay, doesn't get much easier than that. Now we're going to flip this over. Now you'll see here, this is the main one that we're changing. So we're just going to slide that over to open. And there we go. And then you'll see this is actually this is the actual bulb right here. So this is the socket. You're going to just pull this out, just like that. Now you'll see here, there's a wire right here. This is actually a retaining wire. You don't have to remove these screws. This just simply comes right off. You're going to grab this side right here, and you can see how it just comes out just like that. Okay, see that? Flips down, and that holds the bulb in tension. Now this bulb, we can just pull out. Okay, perfect. So now we have our replacement bulb right over here. Do not hold the glass of the bulb. Okay. And you'll see. You'll see that there's like a notch right here. I'm going to show where that goes. We're going to grab our headlamp assembly. I'm going to flip back. I'll flip back the wire, and you see where the notch is right here? That notch just goes... It's actually pointed up, just like that. Okay, and that's it. Now this actually, so you see this wire? I'm going to push down, put some pressure on this, and see on the left side there, it actually slides underneath and it catches right there. Now we just reverse the procedure. Snap that back on. We'll get the cover back on, rotate. We'll position this just like this. Hold it from the top. Get your harness back on there. Make sure it clips. There it is. You'll see that we need to get that position just right. Bingo. Very nice. Oh, came right out. Oh, there we go. So now, I'm going to take that out because I can't get the, uh, can't get the other portion in here. Perfect. Now you'll see that the holes on the top here line up. I'm going to get these screws back in. Just going to hold it in place. Alright. Now we've got one more screw. Don't forget this one on the inside. This is the this is the Torx. This is the Torx 20 screw here. So let's just make sure we get that in the right place. Okay, now it's catching. Perfect. Now we'll just tighten the screws on top. Make sure you're not over tightening. Just do it till it's just starting to catch. And then you'll see, this is the only trick here. Look at this pin, look at one down here. And it goes right in this slot right over here. So on the, that's the left side, and that's the driver's side. So that goes in first. Okay, you can see it from the top here. You can see it. So you can see it, and then here on the right side. I'm going to have to just try to wiggle it around just a little bit. And there it is. Perfect. And all you have to do is just reinsert 
the three retaining screws at the top. So you're going to have to push in, hold it with both hands. There we go. And the last one. Perfect. Just reinsert the screws. And tighten down. And the last one. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for tuning in. That was done in real time. That, that was a headlamp change for a 2004 Land Rover Discovery Series 2.